It's not just 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days star Alina Koshevnikova getting fired from the show that got headlines this week. After days of online backlash from fans who discovered multiple racist posts from Alina's Facebook and Instagram, TLC finally confirmed that she is never coming back. However, Alina was a part of episode 8 with Caleb Greenwood, and fans want to know if they'll stay together after their turkey shenanigans. Fans aren't sure if Caleb will be seen in future episodes, and also wonder about 90 Day Fiancé newbie Mahogany Roka, who is most likely catfishing Ben Rathbun. However, the most criticism about this episode was directed at Kim Menzies for acting overtly irrational with Usman Numar aka Soja Boy after he refused to get intimate. She wants to have sex and also wants a proper relationship. While Usman appears to think of her as a friend, Kim tried to pressure and manipulate him into getting intimate, which came across as predatory and desperate. Meanwhile, Mike Burke confessed to he Mena Morales that his messiness is due to him having ADHD, even as fans failed to grasp how it explains his farts and burps that annoy his Colombian girlfriend. Then, there's Memphis Sandoval, who wants Hamza Monae to sign a prenup, without which she refuses to get married. The biggest moment on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days this week was not Gino Palazzolo taking off his hat to reveal what his head really looks like. It was Jasmine Pineda revealing that she was contacted by Gino's ex. The Michigan man has been texting his alleged sugar baby behind Jasmine's back. And he's even been trying to make her jealous by sending her Jasmine's half-naked pics. While the real drama begins on episode 9 next week. Here's a run-through of the biggest happenings from last week. Several offensive social media posts made by Russian singer Lena resurfaced online over the past few weeks. Some of these posts dated back to 2014 and 2015 and showed Alina using the N-word. They also showed her mocking Asian and Muslim people. Although Alina tried to play the Photoshop card at first, she later apologized for her 2015 Instagram post with a racial slur, claiming she used it to mean bro or fella. However, a 2014 Facebook post showed Alina using the N-word seven times while laughing about going to a racist party, so 90DF fans are quite sure that she understood the meaning of the slur. After days of requests by 90 Day Fiancé viewers to get Alina fired, TLC issued a statement confirming that they've discontinued filming with Alina Koshevnikova following the recent discovery of her past social media statements. A spokesperson also revealed that Alina has been uninvited from the tell-all. She also won't appear in any future franchise seasons or episodes of 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days as of February as TLC does not tolerate racism or discrimination of any kind. Michigan mom Memphis has hardly been out of hot water since her 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days season began. Fans first called out Memphis for disrespecting Hamza's mom by having sexy time with her son under her roof. Memphis tried to explain that everything on the show was not reality, and confessed she'd go back in time to stop herself from signing on to the show. However, in the meantime, a source alleged that Memphis was pregnant with Hamza's baby. Memphis' mom Deborah called Hamza her son-in-law on Instagram. With all of the scandals Memphis is currently surrounded by, it's no surprise that she's stressed out. The nurse practitioner ditched her long hair for a short bob which, for a change, is getting love from one and all. Related, 90 Day Fiancé, Memphis alleged ex claims she and Hamza have a baby the language barrier, age gap and cultural differences were already creating complications for Mike and Jimena on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days. However, the Colombian woman wants to give up on her American man for his farts, burps, and dirty underwear. Mike admitted he'd change his bad habits so Jimena wouldn't break up with him, and also had a new confession to make during Episode 8. As per B90's Mike, he has ADHD, which was diagnosed in middle school. He claims his medical condition is why he forgets to clean up his messes. Dot.